Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel on LELP Society. This session I will be teaching you another unit of 1100 words you need to know week 34 day 3. New words. Tenacious. Tenacious means uh, tough and stubborn. The noun form is tenacity. So if you're tenacious, you stick to you stick to your guns and you are opinionated or obstinate. The next word is facade, which means front or superficial appearance and also the outer appearance of a large building, an edifice, and also the um, the emotion that you let's say, let's say show. Uh, and something that is perceptible or noticeable by others. And the next word is asinine, which means silly and stupid, like an ass, as an animal. Uh, grimace is facial expression of disgust when you hate something, when, when you loathe something, it means you don't like it, you dislike it, so you form a particular, you make a special uh, face. Calumny, false accusation or slander. Okay, when you defame somebody, libel somebody, slander. Slander is both a noun and a verb. Okay, uh, the passage. To the police. Thursday was his next to last day. So his last day was Friday. He had been tenacious in following up every lead or clue. Hint, information. So he was uh, making a thorough investigation to find his fiancée, Evelyn. Now he was behind the eight ball. Behind the eight ball means to be in trouble and to be in a bad condition. He could hardly galvanize himself to do anything else. He could not... Uh, stimulate or persuade himself to do anything else because nothing was left to do. The facade of hope he had worn for almost a week was crumbling, disintegrating and falling into pieces. Falling into pieces. So, uh, he was becoming more and more hopeless. There was nothing left to be sanguine about. Sanguine means hope, hopeful, optimistic. In desperation, he turned to the police and placed his problem within their jurisdiction. In despair and hopelessness, he turned to them, referred to the police station, station, police station, and placed his problem within their jurisdiction or the area or, uh, let's say, uh, uh, that place or district that the police uh, was controlling, you know, the police were controlling. So, uh, in order to find uh, his fiancée, they asked many questions and they requested that he not uh, expurgate anything. The police asked some questions and they requested that Pay attention to this grammar structure. They requested that he not expurgate or censor, cut, edit. See? Not edit anything uh, uh, about the verdict or explanation or account. Some of the questions seemed asinine. Some of the questions were really stupid. When they inquired or... Uh, actually they uh, asked for some information they questioned his relationship to the missing girl he replied with a grimace 
fiancé. He said that the girl was his fiancé. While he was not in a good mood. When they suggested she might not be hiding in that part of the city, she might be hiding in that part of the city where the punk uh, coterie uh, congregated. Okay, when the police suggested that or recommended that or uh, actually predicted that she might be hiding in that part of the city where the punk uh, the punk refers to uh, the Yankees, the, the young who blindly imitated some, for example, unorthodox music bands. Uh, for example, Yankees. Coterie refers to a group of people who share the same interest and who, are, uh, who act similar, similarly. Congregated means gathered or met in, in the simple past tense he was incredulous means not ready to believe incredulous and accused the police of calumny against her good name and reputation he was incredulous means not ready to believe as I said and accused or pressed charges against the police of calumny or the let's say slander against her good name and reputation because he was not ready to accept the fact uh, or the suggestion the police's suggestion sample sentences number one he held on to his antiquated beliefs with a tenacious obsession Held onto means stick to, clung to, his antiquated means obsolete, old beliefs with a tenacious obsession, tenaciously, stubbornly. Number two. The woman was noted for her vituperative, vituperative calumny against her innocuous although senile neighbor noted for means famous for her vituperative means critical too critical calumny slander against her innocuous means innocent benign benign innocent although senile senile neighbor so, uh, although is a conjunction showing contrast, senile means mentally weak or mentally uh, disorderly and uh, uh, it refers to a person who has some mental problems just because of old age. So, w the woman was celebrated for, famous for, vituperative or critical uh, defamation or uh, slander against her uh, innocent but senile neighbor number three she could not abjure a grimace when she saw the disheveled figure she could not take back or deny let's say a grimace or that facial expression showing disgust Discussed when she saw the disheveled or untidy figure disheveled. How asinine of the boy to fabricate that bizarre story. It's an exclamation because of this uh, mark here, punctuation. How asinine. It is intended to show surprise. Uh, asinine the boy to fabricate to 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 tell a story to make a story create a story and concoct a story that is so bizarre or strange his face wore the most doleful facade doleful means sad facade he was so sad and 
dejected and des uh, despondent. Today's idiom: hook, line, and sinker means completely, all the way, utterly, thoroughly. The teacher fell for the practical joke, hook, line, and sinker. Here, the teacher fell for means he was tricked by something. Was tricked into believing something that is not true. He was, he fell for, he was tricked. By the practical joke is a particular joke that is intended to just uh, uh, address some uh, people uh, for the sake of amusement. Practical joke. Trick played a, a trick played on somebody for amusement. Hook, line, and sinker. So the teacher was tricked um, actually by that practical joke completely, utterly, and thoroughly. Thank you very much for your attention. If you enjoyed this uh, video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos. Thank you and bye-bye.